Right, man thinks he may have been one of the first victims of a gang of six men terrorizing people on the west side. Uh, police say that group is responsible for at least two rapes this month alone. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live with much more on this. Aaron. Carolyn Michael Hill says he thought he was going to die when six men jumped out of a car with guns on July 1st, robbing him and then beating him up. Tonight, he's hoping to help investigators solve this case. A car pulls up. And all of a sudden, the doors open, and guys running out, and they running towards me with guns. Michael Hill describing a terrifying encounter earlier this month on the city's west side with a group of six men armed with guns. He claims he had been walking down Chalfont around 10 o'clock at night when all of a sudden he was attacked. Pointing the gun in my face, saying, "Give up the money, give it up now," nah, and start hitting me with the guns and said, "Run them pockets and what's in them pockets and hit me, get on the ground, bam." He believes his attack is similar to others on the west side during the last few weeks. Investigators releasing three sketches of suspects involved in group attacks less than three miles away from Hill's encounter. Six men still on the run after robbing and raping women at gunpoint, dragging them into alleys exactly one week ago from today. So you believe some of those sketches that have been released yes. look like the guys yes. that attacked you? Yes, yes, exactly. Nowadays, Hill doesn't go anywhere without his dog, Bruno. Only thing on his mind now, staying safe and getting these guys behind bars. Only thing going through my mind is my kids ain't going to have a father anymore. They won't know the father. I will never see my grandkids. I will never see my two youngest graduate. I will never see any of my kids get married. So far, there have been at least three other attacks, one on July 11th, two others on July 16th. Michael Hill will be meeting with investigators on Monday, according to him, to go over a lineup. For now, we're live in Detroit, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Aaron. And a gas station that was